Upon arrival, Mr. Kambwili didn't miss his words in support of Dr. Mumba. I came here with my team, my members of the Central Committee, to give moral support to my brother President Nevers Mumba because what is happening is undemocratic. In a democratic uh, state like ours, people must be given the freedom of expression. You remember very well that uh, when uh, Mr. Sata lost the 2008 elections, we accompanied him. You were there, Mr. Mumbi? Yes, I was. We went to Mulungush International Conference Center, where there was all kind of media houses, including international media. And he said the elections were rigged. After Wade went round that Mr. Kamwili had arrived at the police headquarters, police began reinforcing security as journalists also jostled for better positions. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't we, touch have, me. we have rights, don't touch me. Leave them, leave them, whatever they done there. No, 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 don't be funny. Leave them. These are journalists. Leave them. They've got their freedom, leave them. Undeterred by the swelling numbers of police officers, Mr. Kambwili says nothing can stop him on speaking the truth. Why should it be that under this administration, people must be summoned for saying anything? Do they want us to keep quiet? No, but we want to tell them. We want to tell them. We want to tell them. And nobody is going to make us keep quiet. No police. No politician, no anybody is going to keep us quiet. We shall continue talking, and even me, I can say that the elections seemed to have been rigged. Before Mr. Kambwili would leave, armed police officers were everywhere, causing traffic jams around the area. Tito Kalama, S24.